All right, response video to math fails. Um, dumping on science again. <laughs> like somehow it has less credibility than uh, our twitchy anuses or something. What we feel, because we have a, a, uh, a presumptive thought. Uh, because culture indoctrinates us with some kind of mush that there's Easter rabbits and leprechauns and other fairy happily ever after characters in reality, uh, that somehow that has more credibility than, uh, you know, digging in the rocks and finding the fossils and doing the science and, uh, and the rest of the things that we do to discover reality. Um, and, you know, look, you don't have to get all scientific about science. I mean, you know, science is anybody who is throwing two ideas together or throwing any kind of uh, investigation into the truth. Uh, you know, it's not that complex. Uh, but whatever. I mean, just it's just an irritating argument to um, crap on science when your replacement is absolute bullshit. Uh, let's just go with what we feel. Uh, that doesn't get you anywhere. That's, um, that subjective crap uh, doesn't have any credibility in defining reality. And uh, that's one of the conclusions of science, uh, not one of the presumptions. It's one of the grounded, conclusions that are based on a whole chain of logic is that our psychology was built through four billion years of cellular evolution through a molecule uh, gaining nuance and strangeness and that it is incredibly unreliable. Uh, human beings have done incredibly stupid things, uh, you know, because of notions in their fucking psychology not because of a known reality or understanding the truth. Uh, and science is the only thing that's lifted us up out of being barbaric uh, morons, you know, with totem poles and virgins and volcanoes and drawing all kinds of feeling conclusions. You know, oh, the, the rains were so heavy, God must not like us, that's what I feel. Well, that's a stupid conclusion. Uh, you know, we want our ego does this feeling crap because we want to be important and we want to be special and somehow that has more credibility than the scientific facts that point to, you know, where every one of them, every single observation made through the scientific method points to the fact that this is a deterministic universe, it's doing um, crude science at its core, and uh, everything that we are was uh, added and built uh, because it uh, followed the rules of natural selection, uh, crude, barbaric rules that built us. And it's just, it's baby talk to malign that uh, in favor of, you know, I feel special bullshit. Uh, you know, he, he dresses his nonsense up in, you know, a bunch of elegant words and let's quote some dead philosophers with their little, um, um, their, their dogma, their dogmatic statements about what the truth is uh, that, that have never been tested logically, never been, they've never been forced to account for them. It's very hard to make dead people account for their bullshit. Uh, but that's what it is. Uh, there was a couple of people actually point this out now that, that lately the term has been all over the place. I think, therefore I am. And like it's the most brilliant philosophical statement ever made. And uh, well, guess what? I don't think it is. Because the point is, it's not about thinking. It's about feeling. I feel, therefore I am. There's a more accurate statement. Uh, and that came first. I think uh, if you put all the logical ducks in a row, uh, if you set it all up right and get your facts right and get them lined up right, they're going to point to the fact that the, we felt before we thought and that the only thing that keeps us in this game is the feelings. 
Because if you're left thought without feelings, without desire, without the crap, the emotional crap, uh, your thinking would uh, evaporate. It wouldn't have a purpose. It wouldn't have a mission. Because there would be no contrived desire to satisfy, no contrived uh, objective, no artificial cheese to chase. Uh, so I don't think I think, therefore I am. No, I feel. Uh, it should be I have a penis, therefore I am. Because we are not, uh, most of our thinking is being squandered by giving it to our feelings by making it a servant to feelings. And this is not philosophy, defining the truth. You're not gonna define the truth by asking your fingers how life feels, or asking your ears how does life sound, or asking your navel, navel, nasal cavity, does life smell good? That's not how you do intellectual things. That's not thinking. All right, that's feeling life, and it's bullshit. Uh, this isn't about uh, experiential. Experiential is psychology. It is not philosophy. Our experiences are incredibly tainted by subjective nonsense, by individual bullshit circumstances that have nothing to do with the truth and have everything to do with creating preferences and prejudices. That you don't put on a pedestal and pray to. You don't uh, immortalize bigotry, uh, uh, false desire, uh, greed, gluttony. Now, these aren't admirable qualities of the human psyche, uh, but that's, what you're, that's the alternative to a, the scientific method. That's the alternative to being uh, coldly fact-based in your observations and not deceived by your uh, little stiff nipples. Uh, your nipples aren't a good judge of character or of the universe. Your brain, your intelligence can do that. All right, your stupid sense organs are kind of feeble in comparison. So, yeah, that's enough. So basically it's just a fuck you video because it's just, it's just nonsense to go ragging on science and what it has given us. It has given us everything. Uh, without it, we're the silliest of beasts. Uh, you know, wandering about in a fog of delusion and false and uh, deception. Uh, nonsense. Uh, it's just complete bullshit. And there is, there's plenty of room to draw not just pragmatic conclusions based on pragmatic definitions of uh, probability and improbability, but just to declare certain things the truth. And it's perfectly reasonable to do that, because it's perfectly unreasonable to leave doors open to Easter rabbits and Santa Claus and Bugs Bunny and Mary Poppins and all this other bullshit. Uh, there's just no excuse for assuming, assuming, uh, that any of that has any necessary credibility, any respectable credibility, because we know where it came from, uh, the babble of human beings, their fantasies, not their knowledge base. It wasn't created by some kind of discipline method. It was created by phantasmagorical, wishy-washy, mush thinking. So anyway, yeah, enough said. Just say fuck you again. Uh, anyway, really a stupid thing to argue. Uh, if, if humanity is going to find the truth, it's going to find it through disciplined, logical methods, not uh, asking its uh, heart to tell it, because its heart is not a good thinking organ. The end, I think. That's enough said. Really lousy video. Really, really, you're, you're all pretty fucking silly. That's it. You're just fucking silly people. Uh, you know, for no reason contriving an excuse to run from the truth. Anyway, I said Okay. Oh, wait. Hey, altitude. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Anyway, till next time. Uh, really, next time.
there will be probably a next time unless I die, you know, soon.